Hey, this is Jerry from DIYontheweb.com. So, I know a lot of you own your own websites, and you're always wondering, how do I track my keywords? Well, today I'll be showing you three different methods which I personally use to track my keywords. The first method I use is a website called SerpFox. You can access SerpFox by going to www.serpfox.com. All these links will be in the description for you to click. I currently use the free plan which SerpFox sell, which allows you to track 10 keywords. But if you need more than 10 keywords, then you'll need to start paying money. When you first log into SerpFox, this is what you'll see. If you want to add a new website to track, you just simply click add URL. You type a URL in. I'll just use Yahoo as an example. So www.yahoo.com. Then I'll only just click add. Once I've clicked add, you can then click add keywords. The first box you see is called search engine. This allows you to choose two types of search engines, Google and Bing to track your keywords. If I was you, I'd just leave it on Google as that's the most popular search engine. The second box is localization. This is where SerpFox brings its results from. I like to change mine to United States because that's where most of my readers are from. And the third box is just where you put your keywords. So I'll just put Yahoo down. Then you want to click add. It normally takes a couple of minutes for SerpFox to update. So while this is updating, I'll move on to Microsite Masters. So Microsite Masters is similar to SerpFox. Its free plan allows you to track 10 keywords. But if you need more than 10 keywords, then you'll need to start paying money. So when you log into Microsite Masters, this is what you'll see. When you want to add a new website, you put a project name, so I'll just put Yahoo again. Oh, then you click create project. Once it's loaded, you go down to add a website, put your website name, I'll just put Yahoo, and the website domain, so www.yahoo.com. Then you want to click add website. Once you've added the website, a new box appears, and it should say add new keywords. This is where you can put all the keywords that you need to track. So I'll just put Yahoo. At the bottom here is country. This is similar to SerpFox where you choose your country that you want the keywords to be tracked from. Then you just want to click add keywords and you're done. So Microsite Masters and SerpFox are pretty similar in itself. The reason why I use both of them to track and not one is because I can average out the results so they're more accurate. I find that Microsite Masters is more accurate in terms of results but it takes longer to update as you can see here. So hopefully SerpFox is updated by now so we can refresh the page to wait and see. So yahoo.com, it shows rank number one. So now we can use Proxfree. It's a free web-based proxy for you to use. This link will also be in the description for you. So the IP address location, I like to keep mine on United States. Once you've done that, you just go to Proxfree, just click it, wait for Google to load. Then you want to type your keyword. So I'll type Yahoo. And as you can see, Yahoo's the first result. And this matches SerpFox's results. Microsite Masters probably hasn't loaded yet because Microsite Masters is kind of slow. But if you want accurate results, this is the one to use. So as you can see, Microsite Masters has now updated their panel. And you'll see that Yahoo is ranked number one in Google, number one in Yahoo, and number one in Bing. The advantages over SerpFox is that Microsite Masters tracks all three popular search engines, Google, Yahoo, and Bing, while SerpFox, you're only allowed to choose one. Both show the volume, as you can see. And if you need notifications, but you don't want to pay any money, then you have to use SerpFox because for notifications to work on Microsite Masters, you'll need to upgrade your plan, which costs money. This is the same for reports. SerpFox allows this for free, but Microsite Masters, you'll need to pay.